Hello everybody, welcome to the Once Upon a Sketch screencast. My name is Norman Grock, and today, since it's the 4th of July, I'm going to be showing you how to make some fireworks. So I'm working in Adobe Photoshop right now, and here we go. First thing I want to do is create a background for the fireworks to show up on. I've set up a gradient with uh, two different shades of blue, the darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. I like to add a little bit of texture to my sky, so I'm going to change this light blue to a white. Make sure the dark blue is on top and go up under filter on a new layer and go down to render clouds. It adds a little bit of texture and the reason why we change it to white is now we can go under the layer styles, click multiply, and the white goes away completely. Now I'll just pull this back quite a bit until it just adds a, a little bit of texture on the top. And when I'm happy with that, I'm just going to flatten that down. All right, now let's start making our fireworks. So I'm going to create a folder for my first firework to go in and a new layer. Now with the brush tool, you want a you want a soft round brush. I'm going to blow it up really big, 1200, and with white, I'm just going to click once, essentially giving me a big white gradient in the middle of the screen. Next, what I'm going to do is go under my layer options and change it to dissolve, which creates this almost like a firework texture, but it's really jaggedy. It's kind of a pixely mess, so we're going to have to clean that up. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer, select both layers, and merge the layers together. Merge layers. So that softened it up. Uh, it didn't really do very much to it, so we're going to have to keep playing with it. But before we before we soften those edges, I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool and create a circle right in the middle of it. I'm just going to move this right into place. That's about right. Now I'm going to go up under select, modify, feather. I'm going to do a 30 pixel feather. Say OK to that. And now I'm going to go back up under Filter, go down to Blur, and go to Radial Blur. Uh, the amount I have set to 80. And uh, the rest of it looks good. I'm just going to click OK. So now it gives us a nice explosion in the middle of our, of our firework. But we've still got that jaggedy pixel mess, so we're going to add another filter to try to clean that up. Blur, and just use a more blur. And it starts to clean it up a little bit, maybe one more time. There we go. Nice. Now it's time to start adding some detail to our firework. I'm going to create another layer. With the brush tool, I'm going to use the soft round brush and shrink it down again. And just in the middle of it, I'm just going to add a little bit more white. So you've got a big, a big explosion in the middle. You can see it sort of. There we go. Going to create a new layer. And now I'm going to shrink my brush down really small to about 20 pixels and then drop the opacity on my brush down to 25 let's say. Now I'm going to just draw out some explosion marks. And this is really just to your taste however you want to do it. And one more. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to switch my brush. 
again. Photoshop has a lot of stock brushes for you to use, but I'm going to choose this one. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks sort of like a little explosion. And then I'm going to bring that up to maybe 600 pixels. It's not really meant to be brought up this, this big. It's going to get a little jaggedy, but you're going to see what we're going to do with it here. So now I'm going to change the opacity to 70 and just click and add a little explosion at the tip of each. And you can vary, you can vary the size of these as you're going around to all your little endpoints. And you could also rotate them, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. That's a little too big. Shrink that down. And one more right there. Okay, so now we've got the little explosions that sort of come out of the firework. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this because I want more explosions going on, but I don't really want to have to draw every single one. So I'm going to duplicate it, shrink it down, and then rotate it, maybe flip it horizontally, and then move it into place. So then now I've got a few more explosions going on without having to draw every single one. That's looking pretty good, but most fireworks have like a nice color, like a red or greens or yellows. And so on the very bottom of your layer set, I'm going to create another layer again. Make sure it's on the bottom. And with the brush, with the round uh, with the soft round brush again, I'm going to blow it up really big, and I'm going to pick a color. Let's just say this red, and click behind. And you get a nice big color blast from the firework. Next, just because fireworks aren't all one color, I'm going to select this yellow and shrink it down to right about where the explosion starts and click again and you just get the nice boom in the middle. The last thing I like to do with my fireworks is create the tail of it. So they all get shot up into the sky and they sort of leave a little smoke trail as they go up. So I'm gonna select white, create another new layer, drag it down to the bottom, and then once again with that soft brown brush, I'm gonna shrink it down to probably Let's see, let's say 50, and just draw a line. Now, I'm going to do the same steps that I did to create the explosion from the firework, which is change the layer to a dissolve mode. Once again, create a new layer, and then merge those two layers together. and then add more blur to this. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Now I create a layer selection by clicking on the icon of the layer you want to select and control click or command on a Mac. Now that I've got that selected, I'm going to delete that layer and create a new layer. With my gradient tool selected, I'm going to make sure that it's white to transparent. Select that option and then drag down. Drag down. There we go. And you get a nice big tail as your firework goes up into the sky. Now let me show you why I created that as a layer set. I'm going to close down that layer set. And now I'm going to duplicate it. And shrink it and move it over here. And then flip it and skew it. 
until I've got two fireworks. And then go into my layer set and you can change the color of it. So I'm going to use the hue and saturation panel and just change it to whatever color I want. How about a nice blue firework? And then I'll do the same. And then I'll do the same with another firework. Skew it, shrink it. I'm also going to rotate it because all fireworks normally get shot from the same spot. So I'm going to want them all to be coming from the same area. And once again, change the color with the hue and saturation on this one. Let's go with a uh, purple firework. I think that's just about it. I guess the only thing we need now is just a little bit of type. Down at the bottom. And I'll just add a little drop shadow to it just to make it pop off a little bit more. Play with it however you like. And there we go. Fireworks for the 4th of July. Give it a try and let us know what you think in the comments. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a safe 4th of July for all our American viewers. And my name is Norman Grock. To find more of my work, you can visit normgrock.com or visit onceuponasketch.com to find more articles and fun videos like this one. Thanks very much for watching.